of trading the market correlation. So we're gonna start this week with the oil. As you know, as you guys know, oil is one of the key component of the risk trade and oil is coming from a big way high like a s p and oil also is proving to be a corrective structure to the downside our long-term targeting oil is around 25 dollars barrel uh, the low so far is around 72 and change no i'm sorry the low so far right here in oil is one second because when I do this it's very is 7470 but you can see an oil from the top one two three four five six seven swing when this one took a triangle shape and not only that if you trade here it went to the equalex. With that being said, why are you expecting an oil guy now? With that being said, you're expecting an oil something like this. You're expecting oil minimum to go to at least 70, sorry, because I got confused with that, go to around this area or this area because the base chart right here is the dollar index that's why you see the number like that but well it's supposed to go to either issue fund resistant either in this S way or the B way before going down this is telling me that the risk trade is very close to the bounds and you cannot deny that that's very clear right there you see AI is that right it's very clear one two three four five six seven seven swings in oil and the equal legs that equals right there so that's as clear as the water now what's gonna happen is if oil get bottom here and oil is gonna recover in three ways that's gonna mean this and then I'm gonna include the S&P in top of oil look very similar structure one two three four five swings the oil did in seven S&P did in five what's gonna happen after five swings one two three to around 12 1258 around 1300 you guys follow me right that's how you go and you check all the correlation between the markets so you got a oil showing a seven swing to equal legs and then you got the S&P showing a possible five ways to the downside hmm very interesting now we're gonna take the S and the oil trade and let's leave it and let's put the euro dollar on top of that look euro dollar from the top that's 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 why I've been saying all over the euro dollar can have found a bottom here I've been saying it and I want to I'm selling the euro later on today only because one reason because I see five ways in the euro from the top and but I'm expecting what we've been saying since 10 days ago we've been saying that the bounce on the euro can happen to 140 without anybody knowing that everyone is bearish including us but many things can happen we believe that this week this market should define where we are now the euro is the blue one look same structure look at the structure from the end right here everyone is showing the same structure is terminal structure right here 
oil is the one oil is the one that got s &P. look at the bounce in the euro and the and the s p look at the bounce in in the oil look at the bounce in the euro trade so technically speaking everything is possible and the bounce if the higher that we've been saying the higher winnings within the euro dollar since the beginning of the summer is about to happen now you got oil you got this right let me take some of them and let's put let's take the s p let's take euro let's leave the oil trade and now let's include the new zealand dollar let me change the color of the new zealand for one second it doesn't doesn't you guys cannot see it that well let's put the buyer here. there you go that's new zealand look right here even though they're correlated from here they look three ways now i like new zealand to have one more low why because from here you can see one two one two three four five three four and five that's what we like that can happen i don't say you guys that do not can happen that can happen that it was be also can be the case that no happen so all you have to do is when you trade you have to know where you are and like i say the oil chart is very clear it's a one two three four five six seven swing when the legs they're equal if you overlay the oil chart with the s p with the dollar with the new uh, the euro dollar you're gonna see what we're talking about it so that's enough for me to i'm gonna be buying the dollar on to prove me wrong and that's the trade that everyone should get involved on it but and buying the dollar today looking for a b way more than with a breakout in the dollar i gotta be honest to you guys i cannot deny that i know what we're doing in this degree look this is oil one equal x this is this is a double six up one two three w s one two t y as clear as, as you can get a double is that to the equal x now if we put the let's go now and put the oil in a one hour it's a nice modest wave in a one hour let me put there the candles You can see from the lows one two three four five this is one two one two three four five very clear right there when you got one two three four and within five you got one two three four five very clear oil can be have ended here and oil can be do in a way for flat when you got now one two three a flat wave four and a five after the five should be witness in oil and that can be the case for the dollars to get strong right there but this is a five ways coming out of equal x that's clear guys that's very clear right there for me that this is gonna be the path oil is gonna get back in three and oil is gonna get another lead higher right so that's clear in oil right there now if we put let's say bar 
sorry tick line there and let's put the euro and the s and p from the lows look s and p you see how follow oil higher it's very clear right there they are, you see how we're correlated they are all three let me take one second you see they follow like one after the other there I'm seeing a very important structure in oil well defined fever wise this is tend to believe to me that the S&P is going to complete five ways on Monday or Tuesday and then that the, the euro most likely is going to do this one you're going to do a deep wave two and it's going to bounce high that's very I mean all can make a new low but it's going to be marginal all can go to 130 you don't know that all you have to do is take the chances and when this five weeks this five weeks ended you should sell it and be way right to get at least the C way that's that's the that's the least that you can do right there now euro is a 3359 gapping down a little bit let's put here the dollar cat One second. Something that I like is that the decline in the cat it looks it looks corrective from the top. Look, this is the cat. The cat is everybody knows right here in this room that higher oil mean lower dollar cat now let's take S&P let's take this and the decline in the cat also looks very corrective one two three W S A B Z so technically it looks like a double success in the dollar cat from the top it went to the around depends how you mention if you mention from here let me see it went to the, around the 618 it doesn't look like a five way move which is telling me that this is not the top in the dollar cap and that's why you guys saw that we are sending two trades in the dollar cap first trade is buying here against this low looking for the higher C way or I mean a new high I would go more for the C way because I start to believe that this is gold the cat is nesting in my opinion so that's what we see this week from the market correlationship oil clear a structure out of the lows of everyone oil on the on the fourth and the A hours sorry on the dailies very clear for me what we have one two three W S one two three equal X five ways out of equal X mean that what we've been saying for the last I don't know two or three weeks that there is gonna be a bouncing risk is about to happen and everyone should buy oil after the three ways back because that's a trade that can take oil from around 70, 70 and change to almost a hundred dollars a barrel and that's going to be higher euro lower dollar that can be many things right there let me repeat it we're still keeping the bullish US dollar buyers but we know where we can be the US dollar can be nesting also I want you guys to understand that talking about the nesting let me take oil and let's put the dollar with the 
with the cat. Look, they follow each other like everyone knows. And that being the case, that being the case, we can have one, two, there is five ways from here to here, I'm sorry, from here to here in uh, in the dollar index. So if that's the case, we can have one, two, one, two, because it's going to be very hard. I still believe can happen, but it's going to be very hard for the dollar to make a new high with the oil, with oil and S&P in a battle. There is a tentative like a flat on the big way and the, and the wave two and the S&P, but got to be careful. That's all that we can say right there. Now, any question about what we covered so far bef before we switch to the other easing? And then we can cover individual pairs with more details. All right, let's cover that. Let's move it then. One second before we move, let's go to the to this count right here. This is the US dollar. This is the US dollar index in an eight hour chart. What we see from the lows is let me contract a bit. Is three ways. And I want you everyone to understand that the dollar only have done three ways from the lows. You got one, two, three. One, two, three. This move is completed already. So now comes the question. Either three scenarios in the dollar. From here, new high. Three bags, 77.39, new high. Or from here, new high. There is no another one. The dollar have 99% chance that this is the bottom. And the dollar in the weekly is like the dollar cat. And you guys, DV know that I've been saying that for the last two weeks. That the move that's coming and I said, I mean, which we're referring to the new guys. Raji, Louis, all you guys, the old guys, the, you guys know that I've been saying this, that the move on the dollar, the same with the move in the cat, is a huge move. And you don't go from 94 to 135, 140 in the dollar cat without bigness in the bottom. You guys know what I mean, right? You cannot go like that. So technically, the plan for the week in my in my planning for the week is I'm gonna play three the two as in three scenarios. I'm gonna buy here exactly. I'm gonna buy here like I'm gonna do tonight the dollar looking either for the C way or looking for the high. If I see five ways completed around the six one eight or seventy six four, I'm gonna close and I'm going to become a seller. And the plan is simple. If you see around the 30 year or two, a completed structure, then you have to become a buyer of the dollar there. And you play the swings. The good thing is this, that if you go to the dollar in a one hour, From the top, it looks like one, two, three, four, five. This is A, A, B, Z in a flat. We mentioned on Friday that there was a chance of this being a flat, but it's too big already. It passed the previous four. It's too big to be a flat. The only way that this can be a flat is if this is going to get like an end leading diagonal when you got one two 
3. That's why you see that we put a 10 into 3. And then this can unspare thing. You see that there is a gap in the dollar today in favor of the dollar. And expecting this to find resistance, these five ways around this area, and I want to see the recovery to start dying the dollar, because it can be the case, it can go down as a leading diagonal. Doesn't look like, but I seen it before. Or it can be nesting also. Anyway, there is no trading without risk. And right here, you to your profit. Let on Friday on the euro, let's risk part of those those picks that we did on Friday, and trying to get the C way, or the fifth way, or the S way, can be many things. Right? It can be many things. Or one of those three scenario is, or you know that from here to here you got three ways on the dollar. That's all you got. Three ways. From there to to the around the one point thirty eight two percent, something like that. You got three ways and you got five ways here. Every time that I see five ways, I'm gonna be a buyer three ways back. Always oh, gonna be like that? Because the chance flat they are very very weird structures in in any ways and wave two there are no many flats in wave two or most of the time happens in wave fours and because of the nature of the news and the trend something it's very deep right there but well I see three ways on the dollar and like a oil I see five ways coming out of the equal X you need to be a buyer after three. Right here, you see five ways coming out of three. You gotta be a buyer. If it's a flat, you gotta stop out. Nothing wrong. You but you can know your stop needs to be right here. Don't run in losers or nothing like that, because that's dangerous right there. Alright? So that's for the dollar. Now let's move on to the individual pairs. That's for the dollars and the oil and the market overview. It's very clear, at least to me, the games that we're playing in the way that uh, I see it. I see oil, and I didn't want to cover yesterday on the video because it now becomes too much repetition. But the oil charge, I believe, is gelling, gelling, a bouncing risk. And the euro can be done to the downside, guys. Don't blind yourself. The euro can be done to the downside. Every pair can be done. I like the only pair that I have a big conviction that can have one more high is metal pairs. Talking about New Zealand and talking about Aussie. Those two. But there is no guarantee at this stage. There is no guarantee. Everything's remember, no no everything needs to be at the same time. And many things can happen. And I know what I mean and I'm trying to warn you guys because I know that everyone get in love with a with a short euro trade. And the long dollar, me too. I like I like the dollar and a and dollar bullish right here. But I know that we're getting very close to a terminal and the and the biggest correction in the dollar sent the summer is very close it's very close to happen. Do not do not be blind about it. We've been saying it for the last two seminars. Last week we were buying the week before we were buying risk. And we're going to be buying risk again probably in the middle of this week. And I'm sorry if anybody can disappoint it, but that's how it is. One second.
there we go so we're gonna start with the euro dollar right here one second and we're gonna start with this count the euro dollar like we've been saying it can be count I would say easily in four different ways the euro dollar the euro dollar can be count like this as a complete double six time anybody guess it goes a flat b z right that's a three backs to the six one a here and then right here to the downside it goes to the 1.236 right there uh, A B C A B A B C there is nothing wrong in this war with that count the ending diagonal is not there for me anymore this leg is bigger than this leg so it cannot be the diagonal the only that you get in favor of the bearers is the the most bearish count but is there in other words is there all you need to know is that from here you got one two three four five six seven swing here you got one two three four five six seven swing so this can be the case that the bottom is in place and you're gonna get a biggest bound that correct all this move. That's possible. That's possible. You put your RSI is giving you divergency right there. Huge divergency. So I cannot deny that that can be the case. If oil find the bottom and the S and P find the bottom, guess what, guys? this is gonna happen I don't say that I'm a good friend who knows who saw in June of 2010 when the European Union was the war was coming to the end who thought when it was at 118 that the euro is gonna to get to 149 nobody I won't I won't say it like that I would say that the top is in place and the euro dollar can go to 140 142 or even 145 I can say that because I've been around long enough to know don't use the words don't see it exactly that's that's a good point exactly I don't see it now to be honest with you DV after two after 2010 and 2008 I was I'm very very convinced I'm, I'm very sure that never say never in this market I saw the euro going from 118 to 134 in the summer of 2010 and nothing happened in Europe so they're gonna move the euro to wherever they want the euro to get moved you know I know I know your point so technically speaking this count is possible now this count is all this count is always possible also is possible you can call it one two one two one two when the, we are here in three and it bounces to 3680 and lower very possible also another count one two with a B wave flat when you got one A B C when you got right here one two three A one two three four 
phi each subdivision is in three and then you got one two three and he can be nesting like the dollar ABC to 140 and boom crash to the downside possible it can be many scenarios guys you, you, you see that one can be many many scenarios now what happened is that if this is gonna be complete it needs to be the DB triangle here in that way you make five swing from the top one two three four five and then right here exactly the nest and you're talking about a move that should go to 110 112 you need also a nest you follow me can be many it can be many scenarios that's the message that I'm trying to pass many nobody knows which one is so also, as a service, what we need to do, you guys know that everything is possible. It can be a, a triangle on the day, on the monthly, on the weekly. And we just finished three, and then that's very bearish also. Can be many things. Nobody knows. Sometimes, and I know that everyone believes that we have the Holy Grail and we know what's going to happen. What you mean, wish A. This A, uh, Vicenzo. So far, you got three ways, my friend. So technically, so far, what you have, Vicenzo, is you got this. Let me put it. Let me put it to you one second. But you guys understand, you understand Vicenzo what I mean with the Euro dollar, right? It's not clear. I mean, there is no guarantee which, I, to be honest with you, I start to like the nest to the downside. I like the nest because I don't know, nobody told that, nobody have said that before, only probably myself. We've been saying that the cat should be nesting. Remember DV? For how long we've been saying that? Because, like I say, I know that going from 94 to 135, 140, it won't happen without bigness and the lows. It needs to nest, to drop, to go higher. This is what we have right here, Vicenzo. Look, one, two, three, four, five. This is A. We got a flat. This is these are five way. I like the nest and going the euro to 139 and I'm going to be selling it and bullish dollar. All I know is that because of the service that we cover over 20 pairs and I have about 30 pairs in my regular charge, I can see the over, the, the, I can see the overlay and the nesting goes pretty well with the oil. Because oil going to 100 means euro to 140 and then the nest is going to become right there i can see that so this sense right here you have five ways here and then you got one two three four five swings now you got five ways to the bottom line to the downside what are you expecting you're expecting now three bags like this a minimum another swing lowers before going higher the dollar can be nesting also the cat the euro all you got the New Zealand the Aussie the dollar is gonna be king the dollar is gonna be strong but the nest they're very hard to see no everyone can predict a nest the biggest the time frame the easiest they are and I've been saying it for the last two weeks that the cat is showing me a nest. Why? Because the extension on the, on the third weight was minimum. Going to the cat now. 
And I know you guys understand. I know DD, Isa, all you guys understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, Vicenzo, right here, it's like this, my friend. You're going you're gonna to love it because it's very personal, the service. Look, what you got in the dollar cap from the lows? One, two, three ways. I don't like, I'm an old school guy, even I'm a young guy. I don't like when my wage three do not reach minimum 1618. And this is, this a smell to me the nest is clear in my eyes why because right here first of all I did it, it was a no an extended wave three as you guys can see right there DV everyone can see that second if you take a look right here you got one two three four five a well-defined alio way a structure wave one wave two to the two percent wave three to the teddy area two wave five extended a little bit about it uh, the one six one eight the six one eight but it didn't reach one oh seven we were screaming looking for one oh seven right there because that's going to invalidate the nest. Now, if you take a look from here, look, it passed the Teddy Ayo 2 of a wave 3 very hard to the downside. What is telling you guys? What that's telling you? Didn't respect the 23.6, didn't respect nothing of these three fuel. That's telling me that he's gonna get deep. You see, almost to the fifty percent of the wave three or the second nest right here. This is telling me, and that's why you guys can see that we already sent the trade, and we're gonna leave it there until happen. When we buy in around this area looking for one Teddy because we will miss that trade. Now, that doesn't mean it looks like it did three waves from here to here. And it did five waves from the bottom to the to the right there. And he, he should do this. We're gonna buy here. Why are you gonna leave those pit? If it happen, happen. If it doesn't happen, you close at the six one eight and then you're gonna be very active buying here around the one on one on one area why because if that trade happened Vincenzo and everyone there look what's coming most of you guys know that look what's coming do you realize that you see that we are the nest he needs to go to 140 135 it won't happen if it doesn't nest because you already have five ways because it's very I forgot the name DV how we call this let's say now that he is nesting like we say he's gonna do this and then you're gonna come here and you're gonna mention that 116 is gonna be ideally this and then it's gonna make a four and it's gonna make a five and then you comes with the second nest from the bottom and you trade and then probably around 124 or or he can extend on the first one which is the wave three he can extend and this looks very vertical maybe all we got was wave one or wave three and then he can stay in the next move higher to around here, lower here. And like that, you make, is how the move happened from here to here. There was a nest here, look. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then we resolve the nest. Any big move need a nest. And this is a flat and needs to get 
minimum minimum this move needs to get to 143 and I don't want to miss it I've been waiting for this move Raji knows that we've been with that waiting for this move forever and I want to buy it here I want to buy around here yeah but I don't see that as a double six hour Raji uh, Isaac I'm gonna I'm gonna cover it let me let me get back to a small time friend because the double six hour is not supported by the market overview by, by the whole market for relationship look this is a five way move my friend sorry look at the RSI Avast virus database has been updated look at the RSI it's giving you same wave three of three is giving you divergency there and it's too good on a move when it comes to feebles like this maybe I'm wrong don't get me wrong maybe I'm wrong look 2% at the pit right here the 1 the 2 to the 2618 here 3802 this is a 5 swings right here this is a 5 swing and then from here this is a 3802 by the pit there So you're saying A, B, and C as a flat. Yeah, but wave two wasn't deep enough, not even 61%. For me, a flat needs to get to at least a 76.4. Look, not even the 50% retracement. Flat, in my book, a flat needs to go here. I mean, too early, I mean, put it this way, Isaac. An overall bullish dollar onto the dollar proved me wrong. And I will run it, and this first leg is corrective. If you take a look, that first leg, let me show you the, the, the laboring. It's corrective. Look. Look at the RSI, no divergency. So that's denying any, that's cementing the law on the cap. All right? You don't like the nest to the upside. That's why we're buying here. Yeah, I. That's the thing, that's the thing, Isa. That the nest, they are very hard, very hard to see. And then the only name the only way that you get the nest is with those little tricks. Like you see, this is corrective. A B C A flat B A B Z. That's corrective. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven swings enough for me to know that the loss is in place oh and then this is not the last high let's put it that way now I'm buying in here to see if you get the one high or if you get the B way you know what I mean uh, of course a one more high is gonna be much better because it's gonna solidify the low but seeing the extension of the three weeks and seeing this corrective yeah I know I know you understand what I'm doing and doing this corrective is enough to me to keep pushing the outside because I know that either a new high or a move to here and lower can happen all depends on the dollar and we have a count on the dollar that until right now we've been working like a like a Swiss clock right there. Now, it can be a nest. Now, the euro can be nesting. Everything can be nesting because if the dollar is nesting, then guess what? Everything is nesting. Now, everyone knows that the Aussie is not part of the dollar. That the New Zealand is not part of the the, the dollar index. That's what we go in nest. 
And like I've been saying, look at the Aussie. Aussie bounced back by the pick from the Teddy AO2 of, a, of the count that we presented. Look, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. You need to be trading that count to prove you wrong. Now, we cannot get seven positions and seven and different. This is a great short also. After three backs here, it's a great short, in my opinion. That's a great show in my opinion. Now, what he's telling you me is that I see one more low in Aussie. There is nothing, nothing that say, don't take that show. Needs to prove me wrong. Look, wave three divergency, perfect. Wave five of three. And now, the RSI should do this, should test the low back and another divergency and then it should test this trend line either on the B or whatever it is but that's what I say the dollar is for, is for sale right now everyone should be buying the dollar tonight not tomorrow or Monday or Wednesday tonight because it's very clear in my eyes you agree with that Davy? I see it very nice right very clear right there why are you gonna change this that's perfect right there look at the New Zealand I know my friend I appreciate that that, ter that say a lot about you. Now, right here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Many times I say, and a feeble, guys. I base my counts in feeble. Knowing in way structures. Feeble. Feeble needs to make sense with the way structures, in my view. That's how I land. That's how I am. Look. 2.618 to the pit on the bottom. A little about the Teddy AO2. Five equals six one AO one three. You can get better than that. Right there. Almost two six one A on the low. Close right here. And we're gonna keep selling the Aussie on to the New Zealand on to prove me wrong. It can happen another high tonight. I wish, because that's going to be more convinced to me that that's the path to the downside. That's perfect. How many swings you got from here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need one more low in New Zealand, most likely. RSI. Wave three, wave five, you need RSI most 99% of the time is going to give you what we call a triple divergence. Watch the videos that we did about the RSI. Is that correct, Lewis, right? Three divergence in wave three and wave three of three and wave three and wave five. Three divergence. And they're going to create a trend line on the Usually, that's what happened. Like right here, look. You got one touch, one low, two low, and the, the next one, the wave five of five, is going to test the trend line like this. It's going to bounce, and it's going to give you divergence again because you already have one here, one here, and you need the third one to complete the move. That's how it is. That's for the New Zealand. Now, let's move on to the S&P. We cannot be, I think that we cannot be more clear, guys. 
as water. Look, S and P. This is one attendant account. One, two, one, A, B, C, and a flat. The thing is, this can happen. This this is when the dollar is gonna do the way for. I'm sorry. This case stick can be the nest or can be one, two, one. I'm sorry, three, four in a flat and another low. That's when the U, the dollar is gonna make. It's not nesting. The dollar is going to make a new high. And then you're going to have from the lows, let me put the other, this. And then you're going to have a four right here as a flat. And this is the one that is taking the euro to 130. And then what's going to happen? One, two, three, four, five, three bags. Now, there is another way. When this was way four already, and then you got the diagonal done with the five ways. And that's the one that is going to create the nest within the dollar. And then you got right here. You got either from here one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, and then three, one, two, three, four, five. Either way, right there, you can call it like that. And then that can be done, and then if that's the case, this is what's going to happen. The S&P is going to recover, and it's going to crash. And that's the scenario on the next. And this can be also one, two. This can be also this is the one that create the nest on the on the dollar because the risk is gonna recover in there and then s p short time frame i was still laboring like that but this is what i want you guys to see from the lows On the 15 minute chart, what you got? One, two, sorry, one, two, higher in three, higher, higher in three, higher in three. Now, I have an issue here, no an issue technically. I want to see the S&P when it goes, it bounces for the 23.6. But it looks like it did five way from here. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe the S&P is going to test. It's going to crash tomorrow. Hope so. Dollar is going to make the new high. Or oh, the S&P is going to go to 1148. And from there, it's going to make a new high. But the all you got, contrary to what many people doing or around Twitter wars that I see, there is no five ways here. That's three way move to here. That's the S and P. So, like I say at the beginning of the seminar, the market is in the is at the age of a biggest bounce or a new high on the. But even the most bullish of the dollar count is are calling for a recovery in risk after the new low. That's what I say. Let me show you that the dollar. On the weekly chart look no this is the daily this is the this is the the regular account one two three four five that's the regular account and second I hate when I lost and there you go Look at the dollar. What the dollar needs to do, guys, is correcting this move right here. Why the dollar needs to do? Go to 101. It won't get to 101 without a nest. That's why I keep saying, keep in mind that the nest can be the counting plate. Same with the cat. 
same with the euro euro needs to go down 118 the euro needs to go to minimum 112 it needs to drop it needs to nest maybe the euro just ended wave one of three who knows we should know at least this week I believe we can have a better idea now that's the dollar on the weekly now let me show you another pair that I want you guys to take a look at it and then in that way I'm gonna end and you guys can ask any question right there another one so you guys know where I'm coming from I mentioned on the on the seminar on fr uh, forum on Friday I believe I wanna show you the cable look cable on the dailies can be done can have a triangle way forward which I like it but cable no matter if it's done within the D way already or have one more low what's coming after three wave recovery So that's showing the path right there. This three ways recovery can be the next on the dollar, guys. Mm. Think about it. And then the crash. Another one that I want to show you is, is the uh, Norwegian Chrome. Look. Look at the Norwegian Chrome. one two and then three four five where is the Norwegian crowns already look at the eyes I know you're gonna love it and the cycle it didn't nest because from here you got one two three four five six seven swing so it needs to be one two three four five this is three when you got one two to the three point six the four and then you got the five here you got that this one went to the 38 or two I make a new high to the top to the one point two three six of the four so technically speaking the New Zealand the Norwegian crown did five way from the dollar being seventy two forty one two three four five it did five ways look it's saying I don't have the extension within three but but either this being a five this can be one two but you cannot call a nest right here because I don't see much nest around here to incorporate this so I see a huge divergency saying here and I see what I call the triple divergency look one here sorry one here one here so either is an ABC which I doubt it or is one two three four five but this is calling for a deeper correction then like I say this is in the four, uh, let me put it in the four hour look very hard for this to be called it all the way around one two I see a three a four and then one two three four five where should divide one two three four five so I see five swing here five swing here five swing here so technically you got one two three four five you can set it like that I'm sorry one two and three one two three four five yeah but you got another swing on the lows so you gotta call it one two three four and five if that's the case is a deeper correction that goes with the next 
I don't know. I like the nest, to be honest with you guys. I like the nest on the dollar. Start to like in the nest. Now, guys, any question that you guys want to ask, there is a lot of people there. Feel free to ask questions, guys. About any pair. The Euro Pound. Yes. That pair, I don't recommend nobody to be trading that pair right now. That pair is as crazy as you can get at this stage. The Euro Pound can go from doing this when you have A, B, C, A, Triangle B, A, Triangle B, and doing a triangle, and this, and then after this, you're going to have A, B, and C, targeting 84.44. He can do that. Look, the same way that goes up, goes down. There goes the way straight to. It's amazing, this pair. Now, it can be doing this. Or this pair can be doing A, B, C right here, and then A, B, and going higher to around 88 in a C way. And who say no? And then this is A, a triangle B, and higher to 88. That's how this pair is these days. Very tricky. But that, I mean, you can call it both ways, either bullish or bearish. That's all I can say. Not the best pair to trade at this stage. I would be a seller if it goes to 88 against this high. That's the best way. My, my, my advice, don't trade it. There is better trades in the market than the euro pound, in my view. Any other question, guys? One second. At this stage, the best pair that I, I like to trade, I'm going to be honest with you guys, New Zealand dollar or Aussie dollar, in my view. At this stage. I love, I love those two structures. They're working perfect. And remember, there are no part of the dollar index. Think about it. They are no part of the dollar index. Now, one second. The dollar yen, yes. Julio, one second. This is what I like. I didn't send this trade because I didn't want to send that many trades. But it looks like it's a, 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 wave, a wave B triangle here. You got A, B, Z. This is also a very tricky pair. I still, I've been saying for a while that I see 7521 trading. And look, do you know how this pair is called? The House of Pain. It's called the House of Pain because this pair is unbelievable. No, no, no. What I say is, what I say about that is this, Isa, that the market is, an, is on the edge, technically. Technically speaking, what that mean is that it can go both ways. You know what I mean? The market can go both ways. Either can go. Either can go. Euro to 130. Cable to 152. Or it can go Euro to 140. 
cable to 160. Because technically, what I'm, what I'm saying that the Aussie and the New Zealand are no part of the dollar index, because technically, those pairs sometimes I see the dollar index and I see the euro dropping 500 pegs, and I don't see Aussie dropping or New Zealand dropping. I've seen it before. And sometimes in a stage like we are right now, when the market is undefined, that the market can go both ways, I got to go with a clear structure. And in my view, my clear account is those two pairs. You know what I mean? Those two pairs that are very clear to me, those two pairs, it needs to prove me wrong. The counts needs to prove me wrong. Until those count doesn't prove me wrong, I will be selling it. It's too perfect. You, you're good in that. You understand what I mean? The fevers are too perfect not to take the trades. You follow me? The fever levels, they are too perfect there not to take those trades. So you got to take it with a defined risk and knowing what you're doing. That's the way I means. Now, DV is more a trader of those pairs than I am, but he knows what it means. Sometimes I said, I believe that it was in May, right? The euro drawer drop from 145 for 149 to around 140 or something, and Aussie didn't draw that much. It can go both ways. Yeah, I mean, I, I, see, I still see a new law in, in New Zealand and Aussie, and the dollar can be nesting exactly s and but well, S&P needs to do a big way. Like I say, guys, the market, my friend, is at the edge. I tell you the truth, I'm getting those trade with the idea of the big way on the dollar. That's what I'm getting on it. Because the dollar can be done to the outside, I got to be honest with you. And now what we, what we got last week was the A way within the dollar. And now we're going to get the B and the C. That's what I say, that this week, the market's on the edge, and we should clarify the counts in the next 10 days, I believe. You put me against the wall right now, and now we go with the next in the dollar, the next in the cat, the next in the euro, all that stuff. Look, let me show you something so you know. You understand something here. You cannot get into swing trades at the moment. Better to be like an intraday trades, but with a long view of the swing trade. And that's how we're doing it. Look, this is the dollar, the euro dollar. Let me open another chart right here. Remember, the way we trade, we have no bios. I just read the market. And what I'm getting after is that the market can go both ways. We can get, look, this is the point. This is Aussie on May the 2nd. It dropped, of course. It dropped from 110 to 700 pegs, right? Look at the euro, May 2nd, same May 2nd. It dropped from 149 to 138. It dropped 1,100 pegs. Now, if you see the decline from the May 2nd to May 23rd, the euro dropped from 149 to 139,000 pay. Now, Aussie, same period, 110. 
we dropped about 550, 600 pigs. So you see that not necessary needs to be a one by one pig move. Now, Aussie makes a new high, Euro didn't. So the metal sparrows, you need to look at it as a US dollar following, because technically they are against the dollar. Dollar win is going to be reflected there. Dollar strength is going to be reflected. But don't need to be the same tops and bottoms and the same structures. That's what I mean. But again, I'm ready. I'm selling everything, looking for the big way. Because remember, that's how you do it. Elio weight aging is how you need to, to be done. Any other question, guys? You understand what I mean, Isaac? I believe you put me against the wall right now. You put me against the wall right now, and I'm going to give you my conclusion like I always do at the end of the presentation. The dollar is nesting, S&P bottom, oil bottom, and the dollar is nesting, and it's going to do the big way between the, the, in the beginning of the week, and then after that, it's going to do the C way. That's the most logical scenario, in my view. That's the most logical scenario, in my view. Yeah. I believe so. Temporary bar on an S&P and oil. That have 80% of happening that a, a train continuation. Because forget about all the pairs, guys. DV, what I'm always telling you, what I'm always telling you, yeah, I know. What I always, uh, be way Exactly. What I was telling you, found the most clear structure in the whole market. In my view right now is the oil trade. Oil equal legs in the daily bouncing with five ways from equal legs in the daily. That's a red flag to the risk of, to the dollar trade. My view. As clear as a water. It cannot be clearer there. That's as clear as a water. That can be in a scenario, Muhammad. That even when the do no, if the one second, no. What I'm saying is this that the B way on the dollar can be the fifth way in Aussie and New Zealand. That's what I'm saying. And even the cat. That's what I'm saying. A big way in the dollar can be that. When the dollar enters into the seaway, all pairs with the dollar trade is going to go higher. I'm looking for the big way, and I've been saying that. But if you add the trades that we have right there, all those big way, we're talking about 300, 400 pegs. And you got five weeks. Possible. And then you're gonna know that you're gonna know that this is let me show you my plan in the euro, guys. So you guys understand my view. Let me show you my plan on the euro. Because we gotta we gotta show Euro trade. This is my plan on the euro. Yeah, I'm expecting the dollar higher. Yes, I'm expecting dollar higher at the beginning of the week, uh, my friend. And then you need to see, like, everything, guys. I'm going to explain it to you guys now on the euro. The first field you need to take here on the euro is this one, which is the three ways there. Yes, one second. This. And then you gotta take this move also and create FIBO. It bounce a bit here. Now, let me take some FIBO out and I'm gonna show you how we do it so you guys understand what we do it. 
you got two FIBO sequence right here. A possible. A, B, C, W, and then you got a possible one, two, one, two. That's going to match uh, Muraham. That's going to match also to the dollar index. It's a copycat. Now, what do you need to do as a trader? This is my plan for the euro. I'm going to be a seller around this area. Why? Because I see five ways coming from the high. Also, if you take a look, from here you have one, two, three, four, and you see that from this low to this high and the non fine and the non fine peril, he bounced for the new high from the twenty three six, which is good enough for me to say one, two, three, four, five. Now my plan on the euro. I'm going to be a seller around 134 fisting. And then he should look because I see five ways coming here. He most likely take away the scenarios of the 1212. Now, I'm going to be a seller here looking from 132.80 or looking from 133.31. What happened is this. When you see the down the move down, if it's nesting to get to the new low, he's gonna make five ways before reaching these levels or the equal legs. So my plan is from one thirty four to one thirty two, we're talking about one hundred and eighty pits. I'm gonna grab it. If I see a, a word defined five legs right here I will know it's a nest I'm gonna close my trade and I'm gonna buy it against the low risking the same amount of pay that I gained right here that's the plan for every dollar pair including New Zealand and Aussie you cannot do another way That's the way it is. Now, if it's a C way, if it's a B way, then you're gonna buy here. You're gonna buy here against 13140. You're gonna what you're doing is with this trade is accumulating your stop loss for the next one. There is no guarantee that Aussie and New Zealand they're gonna go down, my friend. Let me show you something. There is no guarantee of that. I remember, there is nothing guarantee in trading, my good friend. Nothing. Look. New Zealand, what it is right now. Look. Look. I don't want New Zealand to make a new law before going back. That's going to be very risky to the downside. I guarantee you that. And that's, and that's going to modify my trade that I have presented. And I'll tell you why. Indifferent to the Aussie trade, the New Zealand trade from the lows looks like it did. One, two, and then one right here I did one two and then it goes three four five look two six one eight it looks like right here and then and then look right here thirty eight or two That's a five-way move out of the lows in the New Zealand. You guys agree or no? Isa, you see that? That's a five-way move as clear as a water. Right there.
This is telling me that it will make a new low before a deeper correction. You know what I mean? It will make a new low without a deeper correction. DV, don't you see that as a five-way move? No, no, it can be, no, it's a five. One, two, three, two, six, one, eight, four, and a five to the six, one, eight. It can get as clear as that. Too much overlap where? There is no overlap. This is a higher one. No. It's perfect. In my view, it's perfect. Look. One second. Yeah, it can be exactly. Exactly, Isaac. Look, the thing is this. Let me contract a bit. There is no, I mean, it has to be, I, I mean, the thing is that I cannot get that more, but this correction here is part of wave, a wave three. In my view, it's a perfect five-way move. I see it like that. Look, wave three, the higher read on the RSI. You don't get that on the RSI. Wave five, wave three, you're gonna you're gonna make me go to the one minute. One second. One second. Here we go. I mean, there is no a clear wave one of three right here. That's the issue. But where? Like we always say, you and me many times, my friend. Sometimes, I tell you the truth. Sometimes you don't see everything. This is a clear wave three right here. I know. It looks fewer wise is a five between you and me. No, 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 no. No, my view. I'm sorry to disappoint you there. This is no A. No way. This is a one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah, DV is saying that this can be A. Wait, wait, C. Do not go past 1.61A or wave A in a double six R. No way. To be honest with you guys, I'm considering as a five because I'm negating. It's not clear, DV, in one minute, but it's clear in the five minutes. In an hour, look, it's very clear. This is the higher read. You got a 618 or 13 lacking momentum. You got one, two. I mean, the idea Elio Way cycle goes like this, guys. Idea five way cycle goes one, two, six, one, eight, wave three, two, six, one, eight, wave four, thirty, eight, or two, wave five, one, six, six, one, eight, or one, three. That's what you got here. Two, six, one, eight, thirty, eight, or two, as in.
There is no overlap in wave 3, DB. I don't see overlap in wave 3. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, and an extended wave 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Look at the RSI. RSI, remember, in an RSI, a three-way move do not give you divergence in an hour. Look, every subdivision counts right there. It's tricky. I don't deny that. Look, one, two, and then this should be part of the three, four. Now that you say that this is A, B, C, W, S, A, B, C, Y, I can take that. I can take that, to be honest with you. Because I see how it corrected. That's much better. And then the C went to the 618. I agree with you. That, that scenario is much better. Now, let's take a look here. Look, to the downside. And this is something that I don't like it now. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Clear. Three bags. This looks like a three-way or nest. I want to see it, and we have like an hour and 20 to go. Let's see how it reacts, but it looks like either. One, two, now the risk to sell it is 7750 in the short time frame. You know what I mean? Because it's making a new law right here. And I can see five. Look, we're defined here five ways. So you got five, and now you're getting another five that possible is targeting. It doesn't look good. But well, this pair is very tricky also. It, it, I think it was this one or was Aussie that did this to me once, that I was trying to open a market. Remember, Divi, one day, and it opened to the gut down, and it kept running, running, running. To be honest with you guys, if I was at the position that we were the other day, right here, and he's doing this now, I would close the trade at 76.80. And I would say that recovery back. Because that looks like a big way. And that's the most that I want. I want this pair to do a big way and going higher. Look, equal legs is around the 50% retracement. And 1.23. It's very, to be honest with you, it's, it's showing a three-way DV to the downside. You see that? What you mean A? Yeah, what you mean that A can be 3? A can be 3, A can be 5. No, A doesn't have to be a 5. This can be W, S, and Y into the top. No, 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 you know that. No. <laughs> now, any other question, guys? Aussie, somebody asked me Aussie. It can be a B way, exactly. And then it could be this scenario. Remember, the, remember this one has not reached the 38 or 2. Okay, let's move on to Aussie. 
don't see. I like it according to my RSI. I don't like five ways in ounce. I like it three. I like it. One, two, three, four, five, eight, a B flat, and five. And look, it went to the 38 or two. But again, send stroke to maybe it's nesting. I don't say it's not. Maybe it's nesting. It's out. If I was trading Aussie, I would move my stop to the to the previous this high. 98 20, 21. Because if we break that high, it's gonna give me the chance to a better entry to the upside. That's for Aussie. So put your stop, my friend, if you can, put your stop at 98.21 in housing. Why? Because technically, if it's doing a three-way down, you got two scenarios with this new low. You got five ways here, and it looks like it's doing another five ways down. So you got two scenarios. First one, either extremely bearish which is one two another one two and it's gonna break down or you're getting W and then at that moment I won't be that bearish Aussie because then it's gonna get above the 38 or two in a way for tell you gotta be careful with the dollar guys that's all I can be insane The same scenario apply for the New Zealand. If you show New Zealand, you should put a stop about the high that we got on Friday afternoon in New York. Because it's the only way it's gonna make a new low if it's, this is nesting. That's all I can say. Dude, you got one, two, three, four, five, a three. The angle that I see right here is telling me that this is a C way. And don't get surprised to see a new high. I mean, maybe you guys agree with me or no, but that's what Elio Way is saying there. Any other question, guys? Any other question that you guys want? Yeah, I see the euro three way from the lows, Isa. Clear. I'll see, I like a three way from the lows. Most clear. And that's suspicious because if I'll is doing three way from the lows, that most likely means that New Zealand did also a three way from the lows. That, like a cat did three ways from the lows. So, the double six sat in New Zealand from the lows, when the, the, the second spike higher is the B way, the, the, a, the W way is very possible. If I face a double six sat, I like it like that. Yeah, Euro is a three way. He already went into the A way right here, but the Euro is different. Why, look. You go a small time frame here. What you got? This is this is not getting pretty. <laughs> what you got? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, three. So technically, you got a cycle here. And then you got one, two, three, four, five. You close another cycle. And then right here, that high was the 38 or two. But look at the RSI. And this is in a five minute chart. You guys know what I mean? Look at the RSI. It's no divergence there. 
And I don't know why he's putting this the high momentum should be here for the candles. There's no momentum here. With 32.27, it's not giving me divergence. Mm. That's not nice. From here, I did one, two, one, two, three, four. Looks like I have one more. It looks like it's looking for 32, 33, 20 area. But it, it, I don't like the idea that it's erased all the emergency. This one? Yeah, but that can be the case. But again, I have my rules. And I like, I like the B way to get to 50% of the A way. You know what I mean? I don't think that the, the move high wasn't, wasn't a five. It was a three. Look, biggest correction on the middle. It was a three-way high. So it cannot be a flat. <laughs> like I've been saying, guys, I've been saying the market is on the edge. Can go both ways. You got to trade earlier weight aging. And I got to be honest to you guys. I don't like what I see in New Zealand and the Aussie as we speak is either a nest to the downside or we are in the B way already. If I was in, I would move my stop to Friday's high in both pair right now. Any other question guys? We've been an hour and forty eight. Hope you guys got the idea of everything. Thirty three twenty, very interesting on the euro. Thirty three thirty four. Thank you, Mohan. You like it? Are you a trial, right? Thank you, my friend. Thanks for everything. Yeah, hope you guys stay here. I mean, we try to. Yeah, thank you, Mohammed. Appreciate it. We're going to send an email this week. We got over 150 trials. New members for last week only. Amazing. The number was 148, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask a question. Thank you, Arlene, also for the comments right there. Hey, that, that's a good one. Yeah, I know it's better than Elio Way International. They don't do this, man. They have a bias, and they're going to force a bias, and they don't care. Because you know what happened with Elio Way International? I don't question the ability of them to weigh in. The, the thing is that they are more for institutional traders than retailers. And they believe that everyone can take a 500 pick stop loss. Yeah. They're good. I don't. Uh, to learn earlier ways, I'm going to give you, I you know, the best, the best way to go. Uh huh. That's it. The best way is this. 
read the first 29, 23 pages of the Elio Wade principle. So you got an overall idea of what Elio Wade is all about it. Second, get into the, our chatting trading room. Uh, you should have an idea. Get into the, our, our trading room right there. It's 24 hours a day covering, coverage right there about Elio Wade. And third, watch all the seminar videos and everything that we present, including the, Elio, the educational videos that we do. They are very detailed. Remember, not everyone, everyone can be right. But it's not only Elio Way, you have to have an Elio Way technique of trading, which is very different. We got very, very good and excellent waivers in that rooms. And and they are on the fields. And in that room you're gonna see comments from people that they know what they're doing, even their members. Uh, and very professional, I mean that's that's I think like D V always say, the trading room is a fast track Elio Way school. Also James, which is my partner, which is gonna be he's preparing already. We're gonna do some teaching seminars. No like this, teaching seminars. When you guys can get and he's he's gonna go very deep explaining how to identify the wave, the cycles, the corrections, all the stuff. It's gonna be probably in two weeks we're gonna start doing that. I mean, it's like a, a webinar, but for teaching. So I know that many new members are gonna love that. Yeah, yeah, you, you should be receiving the emails for us already, uh, Anita, right? Yeah, I, you got a Skype? Get into the room. Get into the room right there. Yeah, we've been sending the emails about the room. That room is, yeah, earlier way is not easy. I know, I, be, I gotta be honest with you guys, no everyone get it. I see people getting it in six months, in a year, and I see people that never got it. Not everyone has, it's like a painter, not everyone can be a painter. Everyone knows how to, write, how to paint a cycle. Now make a Picasso. It's totally different. The same with the wave. But right here, no. I started trading about 10, 11 years ago. And like every one of you, I got into the trap of using indicators. And then I have a great background I have three engineers in my life. Uh, and I have an, a, a, a mechanic engineer, a computer engineer, and an electronic engineer. So I have done a lot of math, a lot of, and that, that background, that background really, really hurt. And I start trading, and as a math guy, I went, that's very good, my friend. That's why you are where you are. And as and a math guy, I start trying to make a logic with the math. And I discovered I, I when you when you get engineer degrees, you know about the Fibonacci numbers, all the stuff. It's part of the math class. And I noticed, and I, I create my own principle. Elio Wade principle, believe it or not, that was about eight years ago, nine years ago, when I knew that the market, and I tell you how I did it, I used this indicator at that moment, let me see if I have it here, and this is how I really got into the Elio Wade, one second, a parabolic ind indicator, this one. And I noticed that there were cycles. 
and knowing that I was psychos, I say, wow. And then I remember one day I took a big, big ball and I start getting the euro dollar and going, I, I pointed out every low of a high and I calculate in the daily the indic which was that the retracement levels. And I did something that I call at that level at that moment, the letter, like a step letter, a ladder or something, I'm sorry the English right there. I trading things. And then I remember I heard about Elliot and I start reading and I say, wow, this is what I, what I, because I saw the thing, they say the same thing, but I didn't saw that there was in cycles of fire and three. I thought that there were a repetition of cycles. And I got into it. I started reading and that was the last time that I used indicators. I don't believe in news. For me, news do not matter and for me this is all a plan when every high and every low has a meaning and when the market knows what's going to happen next week the market maker in other words those ATF machine they are programming and that's how I did it I never trade news I I, about the channels, no, 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 I'm a level guy, I'm a feeble guy on it. But the channels, the, the, in any way, in, everything moves in channels. So technically, right here, you got this channel that goes right here. So a break below that channel, this is a powerful entry, 3340 to the outside. A break to the downside of that channel means that this cycle was a three-way and that this cycle was over. That's how I use the channels on the trend line, yes. Same here. Look, I don't even know how to take away that indicator now. I can tell you that I don't use the indicator there. There you go, I remember. Now, it's like a right here. You have a channel. When he break that channel, that means that the correction that the move is over. That's why you see this candle here, because it brought the channel. But we're gonna be doing that. Okay, guys. So let's leave it there. I hope you guys understand the seminar and everything. And let's be aware. I'm gonna be doing some maybe some modification on the trades uh, before they open at 5 p.m. Good night, everyone, guys. The recording is going to be ready in about an hour. Thank you. There you go. Where you are? You put it in every language. I don't know. Okay, thank you.